It's the battle of the Coleman Lanterns. We have gas versus propane versus battery power. I just put all three of these lanterns to the test and there is a clear winner. And it's not the one I expected. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. My name's Randy, you're watching Go Midwest Fishing, your source for all things camping and fishing around the Midwest. All right, let's get right to the good stuff. But first, I'm gonna tell you which one I predicted to win. Let's start over here with gas. This lantern has been in my family forever. This was my dad's as long as I can remember. I'm 45 years old, so this lantern's at least that long, and it's still going strong. And I really like this lantern. But then, the grass is always greener on the other side, so along came propane, and I just had to have propane. Uh, at first I didn't buy it because these propane bottles are quite expensive. They're uh, an average $45 a bottle. And I just didn't want to pay for all the, how much it was going to cost to run this lantern. But then I came across the Flame King refill kit, which is these bright green bottles here. It only cost me 81 cents to refill one of these bottles completely full. I actually did a full tutorial on the Flame King refill kit. It's a must see if you are gonna be using uh, any of these one pound propane tanks. So I'll link that down in the description or at the end, check that one out for sure. And now that I had two lanterns, I thought, hey, it'd be fun to do a comparison between the two. But I thought, ah, eh, we need more than just two. So almost as a joke, I bought this battery powered LED lantern just to compare against these three. All right, my prediction was propane was gonna be a clear front runner followed closely by my beloved gas lantern. And then, you know, obviously third place is gonna be the LED lantern. All right, you ready for the winner? I think you're already getting a hint of which one it's gonna be. And first place goes to the LED. I can't believe I'm even saying that. This lantern turned out to be the clear winner. All right, if you're wondering how I came to this conclusion, well, first of all, I put them all through their technical tests. So I tested things like ease of use, how bright they are, cost of operation, and a few other things. And then I took them out camping. I used all three of these lanterns for an entire camping season. Brought all three with, I used all three, I let my friends use them, I let my kids use them. Well, I let my kids use one of them. See where I'm going here? And at the end of the day, which lantern did I always go to? It was the LED lantern. So, <laughs> despite all the technical specs on these things, it comes down to which lantern do you always reach for when you need a lantern. And in this case, it was the LED. So there you have it. Overall winner, LED coming in at number two is gas. This thing, as much as I thought I was gonna like propane better, I still kept going back to this one and I really do like this lantern. And then coming in at third place is propane. Disappointed in you propane. Of course, all these lanterns have their pros and cons. And now that you have first, second, third place, in my opinion, stick around as I put them to the test and see if you come to a different conclusion. After we do the technical test, I'm gonna show you the real world footage of me camping with all these lanterns and all my friends using them, the kids using them, everything, and see how we actually use them in real life. All right, first test, we're gonna go with brightness. All right, first up for the brightness test is gonna be a gas lantern. This thing puts out 860 lumens and shines about 22 meters or about 72 feet. So at all three lanterns, this one has the middle intensity. So I'm gonna use it as the, my baseline. Now let me show you my setup here. Since the camera I'm talking on right now automatically adjusts for different lighting conditions, and changes the exposure. So I got my Canon D6 set up here. It's a full frame DSLR camera. And I have the settings on manual. So I'm tuning it in to adjust to the brightness of the gas lantern. So when I do the other two, you can see exactly the difference in brightness between the two. All right, a couple things to note about the gas lantern. This is an older model. It's the uh, model 288. And I don't think you can buy this one anymore new from Coleman. They do make a lot of similar ones. They're uh, dual fuel, so they'll take unleaded or white gas from Coleman. 
but they all tend to put out about 860 lumens. They do make a powerhouse lantern like this that puts out just over 1100 lumens. So you could uh, get a little bigger one, get a little more light, but for the uh, most of them here, they put out about 860 lumens. So let's turn out the lights and see how it shines. All right, this is what it looks like with just the lantern on, no other lights. We're in my shop here. It's a fairly decent sized shop. Um, one thing to know is these gas lanterns, you're not supposed to operate them indoors. Um, I'm outside my shop here. It's below freezing outside, so that's why I'm inside. Um, got a door open over there, got some air coming through, so we're getting some fresh air in here. But you notice it is uh, fairly bright. It lights up pretty much the whole shop here in a nice camp glow. I kind of like it. It's a nice yellow light, uh, nice and warm feeling. I do like it. It is bright enough, so if you're outside at your campsite, got it on your picnic table, it's enough light to light the area if you want to eat around it or prepare meals, stuff like that. All right, I'm going to keep all the settings on the camera the same, but I'm going to switch it out for the propane powered lantern next. All right, next up, we got propane running right now. Uh, notice it is a little bit whiter light than the gas lantern. This one puts out 1500 lumens, and that is good to, let's see what I write down here. 26 meters or 85 feet, you should be able to see this uh, light shine too. And even though I noticed being, you know, way more lumens than the gas, it doesn't seem to light up a whole lot more than the other one did. It definitely is the brightest of all three though. But one thing you will notice, and I'll show you at the end of the video when we're out camping is, this thing is loud. I mean, it is sometimes so loud you can't even talk around it. So I always put it off to the side where I don't have to listen to it. And to be fair, this one uh, has a little bit older mantle on it. The gas one, I just changed out and put brand new mantles on it. So this one could probably be a slightly brighter with a brand new mantle. And another thing to notice is that this one has one really long mantle where the gas one has just two uh, bags hanging under it. All right, let's switch it out to the LED light. All right, this is the LED battery powered lantern. And you can tell right away it is, it is the least bright of them all. This one puts out 390 lumens on high, 100 lumens on low. And here's what I found out. Even though it is just a fraction of the lumens that the like, propane lantern is putting out, it still gives off enough light that you can you know, see everything you need to do. It, it lights up this fine, uh, especially when you're out camping. So when I bought this lantern, I just assumed it would be so dim that it would be almost useless to use. I found, you know, it's not as bright, but it is plenty bright for anything you'd really want it to do. And also on all three of them, this is the, the whitest light of them all. And you can really tell the difference when all three are running side by side. So let's uh, turn them all on side by side and kind of get a, a little feel for how they all look right together. All right, there you go. All three of them are lit up. Let's uh, zoom in a little better on these. So I haven't changed the camera settings at all. So with all three of them lit up, it's going to be a little bit uh, washed out, a little overexposed, but uh, you can see pretty well there. And <laughs> on the camera, it's hard to even tell the difference between them. Uh, looks a little different to my eye. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn down the exposure a little bit, see if we can't change that to where you can see it a little better. There we go. As I walk up to them here, you can see how bright I get. And you can probably hear the hissing. That's the propane one. It's so loud. Listen, I'll turn this one down. Oh, I got nice and quiet. There it is again, nice and loud. Yeah, just turn that one off. Compared to, you can kind of hear the gas one going. It's completely full tank of gas, so it's, uh, it's kind of fluttering a little bit. I ain't got a whole lot of air in there. She got to keep pumping this one up. I might have overfilled it a little bit. And then, you know, shut the gas one off. That one takes a little bit to wind down. It likes to stay on a little bit even though it's off. But this one obviously, dead silent. So, 
Depends if you like the hiss or not. Some people like it, some people don't. The propane one is just way too loud though. All right, let's turn on some lights. All right, what did we learn from that brightness test? Here's what I learned. Even though the propane lantern is five times brighter than the LED lantern, in the real world, it really didn't make that big of a difference. It sounds like a lot, but when you're out there using it, it gives off plenty of light still. Um, the propane definitely does give off more light, so if you have a large area you really need lit, then you know, the propane is the way to go, but for pretty much 90% you know, of your uses, the uh, LED lantern puts off enough light for anything you might need. All right, next up is the runtime test. In this, I'm going to test how long each lantern will run on either one fill up, one bottle of propane, or one box of batteries. All right, this test I was going to actually fill them up and just let them run till they died, which was going to take many hours. And I found all the specs right on the Coleman website that tells you exactly how long they'll run. So let's just go with that and uh, call that good. So let's start with the gas lantern. One tank of gas. Uh, I just measured it out. I filled it up to 26 ounces. And that was pretty much overflowing the tank a little bit. So uh, 26 will be completely full. You got 128 ounces of fuel in one of these Coleman one gallon uh, cans. So you can actually fill up this tank five times off of one can. Um, filling it up once lasts seven hours. The propane, one bottle, it's one pound, so 16 ounces of propane. And it says if this will run on high, it'll run four hours, and on low, it'll run nine hours on one tank of propane. Uh, one thing to note though, these, uh, these tanks run really high, they got on high and runs a lot. They do cool down and start to lose pressure, so uh, sometimes it's not as bright if you run it continuously. And the LED, well, it runs on eight D-cell batteries, and on high, it'll run for 85 hours, on low, it'll run 299 hours. Uh, I put these, uh, I just changed out batteries just now for the brightness test. But here's the batteries I had in it. They're just the Rayovac Fusion. Not real expensive batteries. Put them in at the beginning of the year and I've been running them all year long and it's, they're still working just fine. So they'll last you a full season on just uh, buying batteries once. Um, my question on this was, in the really cold weather, will the batteries lose charge and it won't light up very well? Well, I just had this thing sitting in my camper for the last two months in sub-zero temperatures. I just pulled it out, turned it on, and it lit up just fine. Um, cold weather does take a toll on batteries, though, and you might get a little less brightness, but overall it was still just fine. All right, for the final test, we're going to see how much it costs to operate each one of these. And that's important because we all care about money. I know I'm throwing a lot of information at you here, so if you want to go to my website, gomidwestfishing.com, I will have a blog post on this very topic and uh, all the information laid out nicely there for you, so you can uh, review it there again. All right, starting with gas again. Mine runs on the Coleman White Gas. The new ones is with the dual fuel, can also run on your, your regular unleaded gasoline you buy at the pump. So first, we'll calculate it with the white gas. Uh, like I said, 26 ounces per refill. This one gallon can fill up five times. So $13 usually for one gallon of white gas. That comes out to 37 cents per hour to operate the gas lantern on white gas. Now if you go fill up at the pump, uh, gas is going up and down so much. So I just took an average of about $2.50 a gallon for unleaded gas. And that will bring the cost down to 14 cents an hour if you run your dual fuel lantern on unleaded gas. All right, let's move on to propane. The main cost difference here is going to be how much you pay for propane, which will vary widely depending on where you get it. So these one pound tanks, I said on average, around four to five dollars at most places. Uh, if you can find them at Walmart, it's the cheapest I've found them. Uh, around $1.80 something I think each if you buy them from Walmart. But uh, most places said I did an average about $4 a bottle for this. Uh, doing that, this thing will run 
said for four hours on high on one tank, so that's a dollar an hour to run this off a regular green tank. On low, uh, same one will give you 44 cents an hour running off the green Coleman tank. Now, if you want to refill your own tanks like I did with the Flame King refill kit, like I said, I'll uh, link the video at the end here. It's an awesome kit, I highly recommend it. Uh, 81 cents per tank to refill, which brings your cost of operating down to 20 cents an hour uh, if you're running on high and only nine cents an hour if you're running on the low setting. So not too bad. All right, moving on to LED. All right, the LED is gonna run on eight D-cell batteries. I just bought these at Walmart, come in a four pack. $6 a four pack, so I paid 12 bucks for eight of these. On high, it'll run 85 hours, which brings our cost to 14 cents an hour. Not too bad. And on low, it runs 299 hours, which brings it to a whopping four cents an hour. So LED takes it there with the lowest operating cost. Now you can get a little more expensive batteries. I bought the Rayovacs, which uh, they work really well and they, they're you know, not the most expensive battery. So I just went with them. Uh, they're not just the standard one. Uh, I think I got like the Rayovac Extreme or something like that in there right now. So just a little bit uh, heavier duty one. All right, went over how much these things cost to operate, but how much do they cost if you buy them brand new? So the gas lantern will come in at right around $100 to $110, depending exactly where you buy it. And like I said, they come in a few different varieties, but expect to pay around that $100 mark for it. The propane one, this is the North Star Edition. Again, they have all different versions of the propane lanterns. But uh, this one, uh, it's only $47. And like I said, you just get the head and the foot. Um, if you want it with that carrying case in the mantle, uh, spare mantle that comes with it, then you're gonna pay about $79. And the LED lantern, I spent uh, $50 on this one. And of course it doesn't come with any battery, so expect uh, another 12 bucks or so in batteries for that. Uh, if you're interested in buying any of these, I'll have links to them down below in the description where you can go check out the prices for yourself. All right, I made a little list of the pros and cons of each, so let's quickly go over them. Gas lantern, the pros, it's, uh, this is the original lamp. And uh, <laughs> this thing, I said it's like 40 some years old. Still going strong. This thing is like indestructible. It is made out of, you know, has some glass on there, uh, but it's mostly metal. So I have replaced this uh, glass uh, mantle here, whatever it is called, uh, probably once or twice already, because they will crack if you bang them around. So you gotta be fairly careful with them. If you take good care of them, they will last forever. Uh, it's a proven concept. I mean, like I said, it's been around forever. It just works. Uh, there's a, sort of a nostalgic feeling to this. Um, if you go online, there's actually communities gathered around the old Coleman lanterns where they talk about them, trade them, you know, people are out looking for old ones. Um, I was checking on used ones and they go anywhere from like $20 up to $200 depending on which one it is. They're, they're a collector item. Well, if you look at the size of all three of these, the gas one is the smallest of them, which I do like. It still puts out plenty of light, but now uh, you can store it in smaller spaces. So that's good. Uh, it has a slight hiss sound when it goes off. Now this is one of those, could be a pro or a con. A lot of, you know, the old timers love that little, pro, or, uh, little gas hiss sound coming out of it. And it's not real loud, so I kind of like it. Uh, like I said, the propane's way too loud, but this one is just enough where it kind of gives you that little, oh, I'm out camping feeling. And lastly, I'll say it is uh, more reliable in the cold weather. Like I said, the propane tanks can kind of freeze up. The batteries start losing some voltage in the really cold, but the gas just, it doesn't care. It just keeps on going. Right now for the cons about the gas, uh, it gets hot. You know, it's just to be expected. There's a flame going on in there. So, you can't use it indoors, like inside tents, inside campers. It gets hot and has uh, fumes coming off it. So you can't have that. So it's an outside use only. Now probably its biggest con is having to fill it with this gas. It gets really messy. Trying to pour this big can into this little fill hole down here. It's not easy. You need a little funnel, so you gotta carry that with you. And then for some reason, I, every time I pour it, it just 
leaks all over the place and gets on the ground and on the picnic table. So it's a pretty big mess, but luckily I don't have to fill it that often. And lastly, it's got this little pump here. So it'll only last so long before you come back and you got to pump it back up to build that pressure back up. You'll notice when the tank is full, it'll run a lot longer, but when it gets down lower, you're constantly over there repumping it, trying to get that pressure built back up. All right, propane on to you. Good points about the propane. It is the brightest of all three, and that is probably the best thing I can say about this, is if you have a large area and need to light up the whole place, this is the one you need. And with a propane tank, it puts out a constant pressure, so you don't always have to keep come at pumping it up. You just run it till it's empty. Although, like I said, if you run it on high and it's using a lot of propane, the bottle does cool down and lose a little bit of pressure. Um, so it's not a big deal, but just be aware that when it gets down low, it's hard to get that last bit of propane out of there. Another plus is you can buy this one with a carrying case. Mine came with this one. Uh, it can come as a kit, basically. So you disassemble it, the top comes off, sits in here, it's got this little foot, it slips out of, this folds up, goes into here, and it all stays nice and safe right inside this case. It's also got this nice little wire cage around it, so it helps protect that glass from breaking too. And it does have an igniter, which <laughs> should be a plus, but so far it hasn't worked. And Right out of the box, I couldn't get it to work, so I bent the little igniter down, tried to get it closer to the contact there, and it's hit or miss. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, so I end up just lighting it with a uh, long lighter. Um, maybe it's just this one, but I haven't had luck with that. All right, now for the cons. This thing, I keep telling you, it is so loud. I can barely hear myself talk when I <laughs> round this thing, so that's uh, one of the things I really don't like about it. Uh, it gets extremely hot, even hotter than the gas one. So keep it away from anything that can burn. Keep it out of tents, campers, you know, keep it outside, away from everything. Uh, just like this one, it is a bit fragile. You got the glass in there, which can break, but other than that, it, you know, it ain't too bad. And um, we just talked about in cold weather, the tank can lose a little bit of pressure, so you lose a little bit of light. Um, and talking about size, as you can tell, it is the biggest of all three, so it takes up the most room. And I showed you it has a carrying case, which is a plus, but on the minus side, you got to assemble this thing every time you want it. So you got to pull it out of the case, you know, find a propane tank, screw it on, put the base on, and then you can go where these two are just ready to go. Which brings us to our winner, the LED Lantern. I got a whole list of positives for this one. First one, it is easy to use. I mean, it's just a big flashlight, so. You got one dial, it's on, it's off. It can't be any simpler than that. Uh, it doesn't give off any heat or any fumes, so you can bring it inside. You can let the kids use it. It's totally kid friendly and it's durable and weather resistant. So it's pretty much all plastic, you know. There ain't much you can do to it. It's all one big sealed unit. And on the cons, I only got three things written down, and one we've discussed many times, it is the least bright of all three, but as we discussed, it doesn't seem to be that big of a deal. Um, in size-wise, it's uh, pretty much middle of the road here. It's bigger than the gas, a little bit smaller than the propane. Uh, it's a little bit bigger around, and it's actually quite light, but when you put all eight batteries in there, it gets fairly heavy, which is probably good so it doesn't blow away with wind. Um, but my biggest question is the longevity of it. Like I said, this thing is 40 some years old. Uh, this thing's mostly just made out of plastic and I'm sure it'll last a while, but you know, I wouldn't expect it to last as long as the original here, but, uh, it's not that expensive of a lantern. So, you know, every 10 years you gotta replace it. No big deal. Now I'm going to leave you off some footage of me actually using these lanterns while camping. So keep watching because it's pretty entertaining. All right, out of all three of these lanterns, which is the only one you're allowed to touch? This one. All right, show me how you operate it. So you just turn it a little bit, yeah. and look how dark it is. Yeah. If you turn it more, it gets lighter yeah. and lighter until you turn it. Yeah, all the way, it's super light. Is that pretty bright, you think? Yeah. And it's 
This is the only one we can play. <laughs> yeah, be nice to each other. So it's one advantage of having the uh, LED one is that, you know, kids can use it. You can bring it inside the tent, the camper, so doesn't get hot. Totally safe. I know why, because this one has all the holes. Yeah, why can't you play with these ones here? Because they involve gas. Yeah. Do they get really hot? Mm. Yeah, we'll show you in just a second how, uh, how hot they get. So Justin's going to try this for the first time. Uh, turn it this way. Just turn it to you, you can hear it hissing. The igniter doesn't work real great. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, how does yours light so easily? What'd you... Oh, you had a lighter in there. Yeah, it doesn't have any igniter. Yeah. So you just start the fire and it catches. So, yeah, this igniter, I even, there's a little tab in there that sparks. I had to bend it down because it won't even throw a no. spark, so I tried to get it closer to the yeah. thing. But... Yeah, it doesn't like to... No, but see, it does get pretty bright if you... Yeah, if you crank it up. You crank it up, but, but listen how loud it is. So, it sounds like a tiny jet engine you got. Does. And then is this thing pretty quiet in comparison? Yeah, try that one. Have you ever lit one of these? Yeah. So you, um, gotta, you gotta clean. pump it up first. Does it have one of those little cleaning wheels? Yeah. Cleaning wheels? Oh. There's like a little thing that... Uh... Oh, no, this one doesn't have that. I okay. know what you're talking about, though. You just... Turn this counterclockwise, pump it pump a few it. times. And... So you take your thumb off when you come up. So it's oh. got the little air hole, and then you push it in. There you go. Turn it. Yep, you got your lighter. They may not be getting up in there high enough. Sometimes you gotta hit right next to the... Where's our lighter at, dude? There you go. Oh, okay, you got it. It'll eventually kick in. You may have to pump it a few more times. It doesn't feel like it's that... Uh... There we go. thing I did notice is, like, the LED is much a white lighter, a white light compared to the other yeah. ones. A yeah, so Justin has a different uh, propane lighter. Got a lantern here. Doesn't have the base on it, but it, it, this one has the two bags, kind of like the uh, gas one. It, it has a little base that comes with the case, yeah, but it's, it's what is it now, like, I think this thing is like 10 years old, okay. at least. But here's well, actually, I think I was using it in college, so it's probably 15 years old. You can see the difference. This one has the one long mantle, and then this has the two mantles. Yeah, the two regular standard. Yeah, I know. On the propane. Then you got the LED, which I got on low, I think. So you crank that up to high and see what it compares there. So again. Yeah, that that white gas one um, really holds its own. It compared to. It it's. Just about as bright. Yeah. Let me see. Sometimes it's running low on gas. Here, hold this second. Pump it up Pump a little it up. bit. Sometimes that helps. It's kind of running low on gas too, so that uh, doesn't sure. matter. But... Dude. There we go. Are, are you ever in your video? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I do sometimes. All right. All right. Just for the sake of it, go operate the LED one. Tell me what you think. <laughs> go operate it. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's pretty complicated. Yeah. Um, I just don't know if I could wrap my brain around it, Randy. <laughs> uh, how, does, how do you do this now? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't get any simpler than that. It's a flashlight, really. Yeah. In different brightness settings. Yeah, it's not bad. I, I had, like, something almost exactly like this, but it was, like, the mini version. Uh-huh. Uh, and you said you have eight D-cell batteries? Yes. I think that one ran off of four. Um, but it, it was it was like it didn't have the clear plastic shield on it. It just had um, like a little clouded, what do you call it, oh, frosted yeah, shroud frosted on it. But, um, you know, again, this is 
It's all plastic or these, you know. Yeah, you, you gotta got the, be a little careful. The glass. And then you have the case for it. Yeah. All that you can really just throw that anywhere and it's fine. Yeah, yeah, no, these do make a lot of sense, especially with, you know, the amount of kids we had running around today. Yes. Yeah, the kids love it. They, just, they know they can play with that one. Yep. Didn't have to put it out of reach like the other ones. <laughs> no. <laughs> but even though, you know, this one, this is supposedly 1,500 lumens, this is 390. So it's supposed to be way brighter, but in all reality, it... Yeah. It doesn't seem that much brighter. Is that the is that the brightest at this? Yeah, I think it's turn it. Yep. Yeah. That's it. Where did you buy your propane tank? That is a refillable one. That's a Flame King. So where are you refilling? From a 20 pound tank. I have a little kit that attaches onto a 20 pound tank and refill oh. it. Oh, oh yeah, I remember you telling me that because you use that in your buddy heater. Yes. That's right. Okay, I remember that now. So, if you haven't seen the video for that. I can refill this tank for, I can't remember, it was 80, 81 cents, I think. As opposed to? As opposed to, uh, average price is about 4 four to $5 a tank. Oh, nice. So for every four times you fill that up, it's like the price of one tank exactly. if you were to buy it in the store. And throw so it. as price comparison, it's I think the propane is only worth it if you refill your own tank. Otherwise, it gets expensive for those little tanks. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Wow, so they make good money off of those. Yeah, they do. Get that. We can see this all around this lantern is just hundreds of dead bugs. They flew into it and just died. <laughs> they from the heat. <laughs> <laughs> Little commentary yeah. from 14 year old Randy. That's right. It's funny. <laughs> he's he's got to come out every now and again. <laughs> but Look at all the dead bugs. We were just listening to the gas lantern and it does have a hiss, but not nearly as loud as the propane ones. Yeah, should we yeah. Should fire, we fire one up? Fire up the propane and we'll listen to that. Yeah, Randy's Okay, we'll shut that. this one off. Yeah, they shut this off, it takes a minute, I think. Oh, that lit right there, right up here. Okay, and here's how loud the propane is. Now, uh, now turn that one back up and turn this one down so that you can. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Uh... Boom! <laughs> well, once it's, once it's warm. Yeah, how was your other one? Your other one's quieter, I think. I think it is. The, a dual, lan the dual mantle compared to the single I think it's, mantle? I think it's a hair quieter than yours. <laughs> you need a longer lighter, don't you? <laughs> yeah, these propane ones, um, you gotta be careful when they light, sometimes they really blow. It's weird. Yeah, time lighting it. Yeah. That's making me nervous. Oh. Yeah. One thing I noticed about my this propane one. Oh, I, maybe I can get at it from there. Oh. Well, there, there you go. Oh yeah, I could probably. They do have a lar lar larger slit right there. Because they do have a uh, slit underneath, but I couldn't get an actual. Um, one of those. Yeah, that works. Yeah. One of those long lighter sticks. I couldn't get in the, the little holes through. here. Yeah. They're not. They're not long enough. But. Yeah. On the gas one, they are. They're bigger. Oh, they lighting up some bigger fireworks. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think they're pretty comparable, except yours has that has like a little bit of a wind sound to it. Yeah, it's definitely louder. I'd say the gas one's definitely the quietest. And then your propane, and then that, that one. one. And obviously the LED makes absolutely yeah. zero sound. So. <laughs> but these are all Coleman. Yeah. Yeah. It's a battle of the Coleman lanterns. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, Randy. That's yeah. an interesting video idea. 